What's up? It's Ed here from ClicksGeek, and uh, today's video is going to be about direct mail for uh, for getting digital marketing clients. And I've, I've probably beaten this drum many, many times. You guys know I've got a Google Ads course that teaches this stuff. Uh, what I want to talk about specifically today is niches versus no niches. Um, so we we for for the course the course is meant for you to select a niche to go into. Uh, and that niche could change uh, month to month. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you don't have to stick to it exclusively. Um, but in terms of mailing a letter and building a list, it's niche specific. Um, but one thing I also want to talk about is um, you can localize this uh, in, in a way. So one way I used to localize it, and one way I was just thinking about it, um, uh, what is today? Today's Friday as I'm recording this. Is it going to go live Sunday or Monday? Um, the Val Pack came, I think, on Tuesday or Wednesday, and it got me thinking. Something I used to do a lot would be, let's say, I would find a or inside the Val Pack would be a roofing company, Buck Slip. A Buck Slip is the, um, you know, the the little I don't know what that is, three by six advertisement, whatever it is. Um, you know, you'd see a roofing one, one for tree service, one for carpet cleaning. What I used to do is take a letter and staple that Buck uh, Buck Slip or that little advertisement right to the top. Or if there's local magazines. Um, I would I would look for local advertisements in those magazines. I'd, I'd rip out the page and staple that in there. Um, I'd look for any other direct mail postcards that they sent. I'd look for stuff in newspapers. I'd rip that out. I'd staple that to the top, and then I'd put my direct mail letter below it. You still want to personalize it like I do in, in the direct mail course so that it's specific to that particular niche and that location. But I found that, especially if you're going to localize it and you want to stick to just your local market, which is totally fine, um, if you like doing your your face to face meetings and and doing everything face to face, um, I, I found boosts in doing that approach. So just something to think about when you're thinking about in terms of lead gen. You know, as you go out and you check your mail and you, you start getting postcards from companies and you start getting Val Pack from companies and you see their advertisements in local magazines and newspapers, those people are spending money to try to acquire business. Do you think for a second you might be able to be more effective with that money uh, online through Google Ads, through Facebook Ads, through any other SMMA channel or through SEO efforts or email marketing or database reactivation? My guess is yes, but they just don't know any, they just don't know, I don't want to say don't know any better, maybe they do have a robust approach and this is just a portion of it, but more likely than not they don't and they've probably been burned by providers in the past that just didn't do good work. So what I would do is definitely use that and um, it helps to just localize you as a, as a human being that you live in their local market. Um, so I, I've generated tons of leads doing that, and I think you should as well. So as you are getting your mail, as you're going to the post uh, post office, I meant to say the grocery store, and you see those like localized realtor magazines, and you know I live in Cary, North Carolina, the Cary, North Carolina magazine, tons of businesses advertised in there. Um, at the grocery store, you're going to see advertisements of. Um, what are they called? Uh, inserts inside the shopping cart of like the back of where the kids sit. You'll have like a dentist advertisement there. Take a picture of it, print it out, snap that on there. Um, you could do it for billboards. You can take little quick snapshots with your phone, um, print it out, and um, you know staple that to the top of it as well. So anytime you can um, infuse some of their marketing into your marketing, I think it'll give you a nice little boost. It's harder to do that stuff nationally. Um, I think it's good to do uh, on a localized level. So just something to think about as you're as you're going about your daily business. This does not need to be your main um, main approach to getting clients, but I think it's something easy you can do. You're not going to be sending out 500 of these a, a week or a month. You know, you could send out a couple dozen of them and follow up with phone calls, and I think you'd uh, land some some meetings and some clients doing it. That's a pretty easy thing to do. It's very cost effective. So that is our tip for Monday. Um, if you haven't already, our direct mail course will be below. Uh, if you have any questions on how this stuff works, just grab the course. It's very good. Um, everybody that's putting it into work is generating deals and clients with it and is, is, is liking it. So, And it's stuff that we still do to this day. So we are going into a new niche here. Um, I'd say in the next, what is it, today is June. I'd say in July, we're going to do a really big direct mailing. So it's still stuff that we do. Uh, it's still stuff that works very well for us. And every time we mail, we do get a month one return on investment with it. So if you need anything, uh, links below uh, or in the comment section. Have a great day. It's Ed here from ClicksGeek. We're a Google, Google, Google Premier Partner Agency. We specialize in lead gen for local business. And have a great week. Talk to you guys later. Bye.